Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riri and I love Rebel Rouge Labs. I just got our latest little palette in the mail and I'm very excited. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Rebel Rouge Labs, they are a fantastic cruelty-free indie makeup brand that I am also a brand ambassador for. I love the owner Mary Ann. I love every product that she comes out with, not just because they're good quality, but because the way that she creates her shades, shade names, themes, the palette artistry, the way she wraps, I mean, you guys, everything, everything is, is perfection with her. Um, and you can use code DRAIN01 for 10% off. I do not make any money from that. Um, for a specific amount of items that are sold using my code, I can get free shit. So yeah, it's kind of a win-win, you know? Um, so here's the package. And I'm going to switch things up this time. And I'm going to do a live swatching on my eyes of all the shades because you guys know that I'm not a swatch person. I will still insert swatches on my hands, like my arms that, you know, I haven't been doing the past few times. Um, but you guys hear me say all the time, swatches don't mean shit. Something can look fantastic on the arm, on the hand, and then not perform on the lid and vice versa. So this is the Rebel Rouge Labs Suspended in Dusk palette. Oh, that's so pretty. Just the artwork alone, you guys, is, I'm just saying, it's perfection. So, everything is packaged beautifully. I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Rebel Rouge Labs Suspended in Dusk Nocturnal Hues from the Shadow Realm. Let me get, let me get close. I'm just saying, that is absolutely stunning. And then we get into the actual Mary Ann, girlfriend, you are a rock star. This is my first time seeing it in person. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay, nice, good mirror in here, the good size mirror. It does fold all the way back. And y'all know I live, 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 live for warm tones, grungy colors, and greens. This could not honestly be more perfect for me. Okay, so we have October Rust, Electro Cute, Drab 4, Haunted, Green Man, Cinnamon Girl, Black Number One, Zoanthropic, Bloody Kisses, Vinland, Hey Peter, and Pyretta. So that is what they look like up close. I will insert some hand swatches right here. And we are going to go ahead and get started. I have no makeup on my face other than my brows being kind of sort of done. And then I have my pretty fresh concealer with my Gigi Gorgeous powder on top. That is how I prep my lid for everything. I always put my concealer and just tap it over with some powder. I have a few brushes. I will, in between each one, use my little color switch and clean off the brushes, but they are all four short, tight smudger brushes. And let's dive in. First is October Rush. You will get some kickback in her palettes. You guys know kickback doesn't mean shit to me. It doesn't bother me at all, but just letting you guys know. So we are going in with October Rust first, and I am going to do one eye with October Rust, the next eye with Electric Cute, and let's see how they perform on the leads. Ho, ho, ho. That is so pretty. And you guys know I always like to lay the product down, stamp it in place first, I obviously would not be blending anything out only because I'm not doing a look. I'm just showing you guys tones. Of course, if you have deeper skin, I honestly believe that these are definitely more, you know, pigmented enough that if you have medium to deep skin, you could also use these. So far, so good. Very nicely pigmented. I am going to switch brushes. Same thing, a nice, open, a nice fluffy shader brush. I'm going into Electro Cute. Coating the brush. Ooh, she's pretty, honey. Again, patting it in place. I have a special guest with me tonight. Sexy hubby's in here joining me. Y'all know that doesn't happen very often, okay? It just, he must be in the holiday mood, okay? Season forgiving. Very pretty. I definitely think you'd probably want to build this one up just a little bit. 
So we will get up close and personal. This is October Rust and Electro Cute. All right, our next two shades are Drab 4 and Haunted. Drab 4 and Haunted. Same exact thing. I'm loving all these greens. Morphe just came out with a green palette that looks very similar to this and has like a really beautiful yellow and stuff with it. But when I thought about getting that, I was like, uh, no, there's enough green in here and holy shit, this is really pigmented. Ooh, oh my God, this is so freaking pretty. I was going to do a green look and kind of do a green palette face off between Huda Beauty and ColourPop. But I actually have the Melt Cosmetics palette. And then obviously I have this one as well with a ton of greens in it. So if you guys would really rather see like swatch comparisons between the four. Um, and then I can kind of pick like my favorite two from the four to do my holiday look. Then y'all let me know. Holy fudge. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is beautiful. All right. Next we're going into Haunted. Again, a little bit of fallout. Nothing crazy. And I'm pressing them in, obviously, first. Oh, I like that one a lot, too. And I don't have any other makeup on, only because, obviously, guys, I'm wiping all this off. Um, I will be creating a look with the palette, of course. But for today, we're going to do some beautiful little swatches. Well, they may, maybe they ain't beautiful swatches, but they're swatches. So this is Drab 4 and Haunted. And we'll get real close. All right, next up we have Green Man and Cinnamon Girl. These are both metallic shades right here. Oh, I am so excited, you guys. All right, we're going to go into a Green Man. Um, I will do these dry. And you obviously know that as you wet the brush, it just intensifies the color some, but just for purposes of, you know, doing the video, everything will be dry. That looks really pretty. I will say that Haunted stains just very slightly like only right at the actual lash line and i normally you guys know this with my metallics i always put them on with my finger again this is just to show you guys actual pigmentation of the shadows and you can see i'm getting a little bit of fallout that is why i didn't put any foundation or anything on i'm next going to go into cinnamon girl which i oh my god it's so pretty it's definitely a little bit more foiled a little bit more metallic than what that one <gasps> Oh, that is beautiful. There's this beautiful kind of peachy kind of undertone to it, almost like a duochrome shadow. Oh my God, that's pretty. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of peach in that. That's really beautiful. Oh, Ooh. okay. Mommy likes. Okay, so that is Green Man and Cinnamon girl all right next up is black number one and some thropic these two right here Ooh, honey chow honey chow very excited y'all trying to get these brushes coordinated <laughs> Okay, I'm going into black number one. Again, coating the brush generously. And again, I would always go in with my fingers. Quite a bit of kickback in this one. Again, that don't bother me. Just letting you guys know. Ooh. All right, that one's really, 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 really pretty. <laughs> and very pigmented. Oh, that's like an oil slick. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. It has like, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like silver icy sparkle in there. That's really beautiful. Oh. Uh, you guys, my swatches definitely suck. I'm honestly just trying to show you guys color. 
and intensity. Next is zoanthropic. I hope I'm saying zoanthropic right or zoanthropic. No idea. This one also feels a lot softer and a lot more metallic, almost like Cinnamon Girl felt. And this is a beautiful color. Oh yeah, that's really pretty too. If you hear my dog snoring, I apologize. <laughs> this is real life though, folks, so you know. It is what it is. Oh yeah, I like that one. And this is kind of like a, a true kind of foresty green metallic. That is really, really beautiful. Of course, I think they're all beautiful. So that is black number one and zone thropic. All right, next up is Bloody Kisses and Vinland. Bloody Kisses and Vinland. Um, I switched brushes just to make sure that I don't have any additional product in there, but still a, um, a firm shader brush. And I'm going to pack the brush and going into Bloody Kisses first. Very pretty. Definitely a true red. I feel like it has a little bit of pink in it. Definitely going on nicely. I don't see no patchiness. Of course, you guys, these are very rough swatches, okay? Mama's new to the live swatching game. Shout out to that girl, Shay, honey, honey, because she does this all the time. And I've only done a few shades, and my eyes are already killing me. So, <laughs> y'all go check out Shay, because she's one of the hardest working YouTubers. And I've commented and told her that a, a lot of times. Next up is Vinlin, same type of brush again. And again, I'm going to press it in place. Holy crap, that one is very, very pigmented. <laughs> very true to the pan color. <laughs> I would recommend with these, again, Fallout Don't Bother Me. As long as they're pigmented, they perform, they blend out well. Um, but if you are someone that does not like Fallout at all, then just do your eyes first. And then do your base. That is a very rich, beautiful deep green. Ha, <laughs> red and green. Yo, it was meant to be. So that is Bloody Kisses and Vinland. All right, beauties, our last two. We have Hey Peter and we have Pyretta. Hey Peter, Pyretta. Very excited. Um, my eyes are killing me, guys. And the Bloody Kisses does stain, as you can see. Again, it doesn't bother me if you set your lids and stuff like that properly. It's all good. And I'm used to that with Jeffree Star products. So, again, it doesn't bother me any. And let's go in with this. Hopefully, it actually shows up on my lid because I have a lot of pink there. So this one is not quite as pigmented as Electro Cute is. What I personally would do is I would put down Vinland right here. I would take the Hey Peter and buff the Vinland out. And then I would put the Zone Thropic all over the lid. Oh my God. Like, you know, you like a color story when you're already planning looks in your head. That's exactly what I told my husband when I was on pause to wipe my lids. I was like, you know what? I want to do this, this, and this. And I was going to do a look with this now, but I already know that my lids are going to be a little sore. So we can do a look later. <laughs> and then our very last shade is Pyretta. Oh, all right. And that is a beautiful metal. Whoa. That's really pretty. Again, I always do my metallics with my fingers so you can build this up. It looks like there is a little bit of like a copper hue to this, which I really love. Very fall-like, very vampy. That is very foiled. 
Oh, I love that one. Oh, man. Oh, I love Ray. Okay, so that is Hey Peter and Pyretta. And then I will show you the palette so that you can see just a little bit of fallout. Not anything crazy or anything like that. But I will also, of course, insert swatches for you guys as well. And yeah, I'm very excited. I really, 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 really love this palette. So please comment down below. Also, would you like to see swatches and kind of comparisons of all four palettes that I have that are heavy on the green? <laughs> um, just let me know. But yeah, if you're interested in this palette, it is... Um, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And you can use my code DRAIN01 for 10% off of any. Um, if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see, I am here. You guys let me know what you want to see. And if you have not already subbed, then why not? It's free. Free for you. It helps me a lot. It might hurt my feelings if you don't. You know. Anyways. But if you would like to subscribe, I would love to have you be part of my beauty family. And let me know down below your questions, concerns, comments, anything that you may want me to try during Christmas. And always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties!